hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this top with a puffy slip and an overlap neckline so we'll do the drafting and the sewing so here is the satin that i'll be using i have two yards of shiny face i want to use shiny face please do not mind my nails my nails is very bad i've not had the space to fix it so you will need like two years two years is very enough for this top so the first thing we are going to do is cutting the back we will cut the back first of all before cutting the front so i'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two and this is what i have then i will cut out the rough edge after cutting out the rough edge the first measurement that i will take is my armhole measurements like from my shoulder to my armhole so normally my armhole is supposed to be eight but i made this 11 i brought it down so if you want you can bring it down you can bring it down down to 14 or 15 then from there you also measure the full length the full length is 24 but i made it 26 inches that is plus the allowance so i have my armhole line and i have my full length so now i'll measure my shoulder normally my shoulder is supposed to be eight that is 16 but i made it 22 you can see i marked 11 inches so the shoulder will be wider than your shoulder you can even make it 24 or 25 depending then i will measure my neckline for the back the width is three inches and the depth is 1.5 so everything about this top will be more than your normal measurement the shoulder i made it 22 the armhole depth i made it 11 so you can take your bust measurement plus three inches for ease or you can just mark it straight down if you want it to be free depending on your size so you can also measure your hip measurements at the full length if you want so i want to mark my half length so that we will not get confused my half length is 17 inches so i have marked the 17 inches so at the 17 inches at that half length i will measure my hip measurement because i want it to be very free at my waist so from that i, I me measured my hip measurements on my waist without any allowance then from there i cut out so after cutting the front i'll place after cutting the back i'll place it on the front so the front will be open at the center it will overlap each other they will overlap each other at the center so that's why i cut out the back first of all so i have placed my back on the front so right now i will add two inches for the overlap for the overlapping or for the overlap so you can see from the center i added two inches and i'll go ahead and mark a straight line there i told you guys that the front you overlap though it will not be obvious that's why i added just two inches so i marked a straight line down then i'll also mark my neck width then from that neck width i will go ahead and mark me, mark my v neckline if you want the v neckline to be very small you can stop around five inches but i brought mine down to 10 inches because i want it to be deep so i'll go ahead and cut out the neckline the overlap and the full length you can see what i have right there so for the v neckline you make it a bit like to look curvy just a bit it will not be sharp the view will not be too sharp just curve it a bit so right now i am folding my fabric for my sleeve i folded it two times i will show you guys how to cut out the armhole for the sleeve so remember from my shoulder i came down by 11 inches for my armhole dead so after folding this fabric you will measure 11 inches you will cut off the rough edge then you will measure 11 inches this is my 11 inches this armhole will be straight because the armhole of the dress of the top itself is straight so the armhole of the sleeve will be straight as well so from there i marked 25 inches for the full length then i'll go ahead and mark a straight line down remember i measured 11 inches for the armhole 
and i measure 25 inches for the full length so i measure the straight line down and that is it you can see that this sleeve is looking straight so i'll go ahead and cut out the facing for the front i want the front to have a facing so i'll go ahead and place my front on this i'll go ahead and cut out my facing so guys remember that your facing will be two because this front has two sides the right side and the left side so i'll go ahead and cut out my facing so after cutting the the neckline because that neckline is very important i'll go in by like four inches and then i will cut down straight to the full length and that is the facing for the front this is what i will use to turn the front so you go ahead and place it on the neckline and then you will turn so i'll also cut out the facing for the back neckline that one is a round neckline you can use a bias to turn it but i want to use a facing to turn it so i'll place it on my facing that i have folded remember the back neckline is on fold so i'll go ahead and cut out the facing for the back so after cutting out this facing i'll go ahead and turn all of them and i'll also hem the edge of my top so here is the back part i will place my facing on it and i'll go ahead and turn for the people that do not know how to use a facing using a facing for this top is way better than using a bias because it will give you a neat finishing so here is for the front you can see that the v-neck line is not too sharp it's like it's curved a bit then i'll place my facing on it and then i'll go ahead and turn this front part with my facing so for my sleeve i told you guys that i will hem the edge of my sleeve so here is my sleeve i have hemmed the edge of the sleeve so after that i will add an elastic to this sleeve if you check the thumbnail you will see that this top has an elastic around the ankle so i'll open up this the back of this sleeve then from the full length of this sleeve i will come up by seven inches this is where i will run my elastic i'll mark seven inches and i'll also repeat it on the other sleeve so this is where i will run my elastic so here is the other sleeve i'll also come up by seven inches from the full length of the sleeve this is where i will run my elastic as well so i'll go ahead and do that so here is my front part i am done turning the front with a facing and this is how it looks so right now i will join the front and the back at the shoulder first of all i'll go ahead and join the boots at the shoulder for now i'll join that and come back and show you guys so i am done joining the front and the back at the shoulder and if i open it up this is what i have so right now i will trim off the excess allowance that i have around the shoulder so here is the sleeve i am done running my elastic around the sleeve then i will fold this sleeve into two and i will notch the center of the sleeve like you fold it into two and you will notch the center so this center will be around that shoulder part then i'll go ahead and join my sleeve so joining your sleeve before shaping is very better it will make this sewing process easy for you i'll also repeat the same thing for the other sleeve i notch the center of the sleeve then i will place it around the shoulder joining and i will join the sleeve so i am done joining the sleeve this is what i have so right now i will go ahead and shape i will shape the sleeve and the side together so you can use one inch or half an inch to shape it depends on what you want so you turn the back and then you go ahead and shape so after shaping you will hem the edge you will hem the down part of this sleeve so after joining and shaping and everything this is what i have you can see it is looking very neat so if you want you can add a press button 
around the overlap area you can add a press button there it is very very okay so that it will hold down the center so at the end of the day this is what i have so guys our july online class courses is still ongoing please you can register please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe see you guys in my next video bye